Business partners play a big role in the success of Richland II, and every year each school takes the time to honor those who have contributed to the success of the school. It's, you know, the old adage, it takes a village to raise a child, certainly rings true today, even more so than ever. And we thank our partners in education for helping us raise our children to be successful and productive citizens in a global world today. You have made and continue to make an enormous difference in the educational programs and opportunities available to our students. As you'll see from the uh, uh, awards that we uh, present this evening, our partnerships are not limited to any one group. They include churches, soldiers, parents, restaurants, all other kinds of businesses and facilities as well as school groups. And we are so grateful for all of those. Meet the 2009 honorees. A business partner gives support, but sustained support is valuable. With their opening, they began by inviting our entire staff to each bring three guests to dine for free as they train. And then it continued. Hudson Road Child Development Center, Debbie Brady and her honoree, the Rotary Club of Forest Acres. She's been out there planting bulbs during the winter break and she's always asking the question, how can I help? And we keep her very busy. So thank you, Dr. Cooper. They have uh, been pen pals. Uh, their senior citizen class has written to our students, and that's created a unique relationship. They have provided funding for those families for a child who may not be able to afford to go on a field trip. There's always funding there because of the, the support they bring to us each and every year. And also, we want to thank them for their service as our school improvement council. They're there to help us set the vision, and we're thankful for that. Their service is unmatched. The volunteer hours, the fundraising that they do, and just the, the plain old support that they have for our students, for our staff, and for the administration. And without their support, I don't know where Book the Road would be. I have the unique ability to be able to say that I know whenever we need him, I know as a teacher and now as our business partner, he's always there whenever we ask. So we're very appreciative for his help. I want to recognize them for the outstanding support they provide for the boys and girls at Conrad Elementary School and they have done this for more than 10 years. They uh, meet monthly as table talkers with Ms. Palato's class and they make numerous donations for field trips for the students at Conrad School. I am so proud to be able to introduce to you Ann Graybill. She's a very special person not only at our school but for our entire community. I couldn't list everything that Ann does, but I can tell you, she does so much. She is our um, school-wide volunteer coordinator, as well as for years, Ann has opened up her home for us to be able to have community meetings in her home and talk to prospective parents. She personally walked door-to-door -door miles, um, taking information to families in our neighborhood and in our area that don't know about Richland District 2, our fine schools, and our, um, our school. Calvin Coolidge said, no person was ever honored for what he received. Honor is given for what he gave. And that is a true measure of what the Kiehl's PTO does for Kiehl's every day. Each year, approximately 18 trained employees sign up to participate in our Reader's Enthusiastic About Climbing Higher program. The one-to-one -one attention that trained volunteers have provided our students has been a vital component toward building each student's self-esteem and self-confidence. We help folks out with disabilities. These animals are trained to uh, obviously assist those who can't assist themselves, as well as, and, and again, this is a local organization, and we were also able to donate money to um, <clears throat> seeing eye dog here, and the students um, were able to name the puppies, so it was a great opportunity for our children to you know, learn to help others. But um, these folks were, were non-stop in organizing this um, major event on cold January days. They have taught at our parent university. They have given refreshments from our parent university. Um, some of their men have mentored our fourth and fifth grade boys doing lunch buddies with them. Uh, they have made breakfast for our staff and they can really cook. Um, they have made gift bags for all our teachers for classroom supplies. They, they have given out flyers in the carpool line, putting themselves in danger. 
They have helped at our spring fling. Every nine weeks, our third grade teachers to choose two students from each of their homerooms who have demonstrated the life skills of integrity, perseverance, friendship, and cooperation. And in turn, those students are invited to dine with their teachers by Texas Roadhouse. They go and enjoy a wonderful meal, and then in keeping with physical fitness, they teach the children how to line dance afterwards. And Mitch has been a part of our school for the last couple of years, offering many opportunities for our families. Um, you're going to see he's full of energy, constant communication, and lots of possibilities of all kinds of fundraising, surprises, and even coming to some of our PTO boards with pizza and cinnamon rolls um, during those meetings when we're trying to plan things for the school. We would also like to recognize Mitch. Everything that Ms. Elliott said, we're saying the same thing. Anytime you ask this guy to come around, he's going to be there in the school and support the school. So on behalf of Rice Hill Elementary School, we would like to say thank you, thank you Mitch. It's my pleasure to recognize Ground Tops SIC and our past chair for two years, Mr. Gary Alexander. And he has done such a wonderful job for us at Round Top that he was also recognized at the state level with the uh, South Carolina Department of Education Volunteer of the Year Award. Uh, he is a real go-getter in the community, and I think that's why you'll see him up here so, so much tonight. So he's done some special things for us, um, coupons that we give to our parents for supporting our behavior program. He's been instrumental in that. And when we need help at Windsor, we said, who are we going to call? Well, we call Miss Dorothy Dunn. Miss <laughs> Dunn has been an outstanding volunteer. She comes to just about every event at Windsor Elementary. Stephen King, <laughs> not the author, but the engineer. Uh, Mr. King became involved with Blythewood Middle, from what I've been told, um, during a career education engineering week and helped to formulate our Future City program, which is an engineering-based program, which in this day and time and in my specific community is such a great uh, vocation. So, so if you have those future engineers out there within the next 10 years, you can probably thank Mr. Stephen King. He's a vital part of our educational system. Whether it's serving the School Improvement Council, um, directing carpool in the first stage of school, whether it's uh, coming and helping supervise our lines for our H1N1 shot, they're there. No matter what it is, they're there for us, and we're very appreciative, and for that, thank you. Marty's been with us for six years. That's as long as Kelly Mill's been with us. And she's been with us through the thick and the thin. And I think maybe that's really what a partner means, for the good times, the bad times, and the hard times. Because to me, what a partner really means is believing in you. And I'd like to publicly thank you and personally thank you for believing in Kelly Mill Middle School and believing in children. I want to let Mitch know, because he's getting a little red around the neck, that this is just a testament of your work and your leadership at CC's and your impact on the communities. She actually contacted us when she saw the information, um, talked to our lead teacher, Debbie Bernhagen, and said she would like to come and be part of our first monthly family night and talk about nutrition and healthy eating habits. Well, lo and behold, she was so good, we got her for the rest of the year and had her every family night. In chapter of the links, we thank them greatly. But as you all come out to the Blythewood area, you'll notice that Blythewood Academy is looking better every single day. I know we may be the furthest from this, the district office, but as we continue to build, I may be center of the district at the moment. As we continue to build, but I thank Mr. Hanna for all he's done for Blackwood Academy. Thank you, sir. Um, our students are learning the principles of financial literacy as well as their family members. Uh, Mr. Griffin has been instrumental in providing us that assistance, opening up bank accounts, um, teaching the children about being bank tellers and managing their own. Um, bank and we cannot be more proud of his um, being chosen as our business partner. That's one of the things that we always look to try to do is to uh, teach kids how what they're learning in the classroom is going to be relevant to them in life. And he helped us with so many different opportunities. He helped our ROTC cadets get involved in planning an evacuation route for the town. Um, our agriculture students were involved in different beautification projects around Blythewood. He got our photography students to go out and target aesthetically displeasing locations in the town. Uh, but most importantly, last year when our good friend Terry McCoy uh, was stricken with cancer and passed away, Janice Brown rolled up her sleeves, came in the student activities and made sure each and every one of our children were taken care of 
Uh, Janice is loved by the faculty, staff, and students at Rich Northeast, and we're not only proud to call her our business partner, we're proud to call her a member of our Cavalier family. They provide physicians for every home football game and every major tournament. Uh, they also donate supplies to start our year off. And they gave us a big donation of $10,000 for our strength and conditioning facility. So thanks to our more clinic, those great doctors. Thank you. Providence Hospital not only um, offers uh, internships to our students, but they're always there to, to come and speak to our students and uh, to allowing us to um, to go and tour uh, their facilities. It shouldn't be any surprise to any of you that Mr. John Monroe has been the first to volunteer his time, efforts, uh, everything, all for the betterment of the Northeast community. If you were to ask him, John would always say he's just part of one of many community members who helped to make the fairs a success.